My name is Dr. Salim Braswell, and I like to say I'm a recovering executive director. I spent 20 years in public education, the last 11 working at Central Administration. Uh, one of my big focuses was on innovation in the district, and so I've spent a lot of time working actually with our analytic products, uh, in particular comparative location and student analytics. And as I spent the last 20 years in public ed, I really focused in on how to be data informed and how we could move forward uh, within an organization. Currently, I really work with comparative location and student analytics. Most of the time I'm advising on the student analytics side. Uh, I am trying to bring forward a lot of clients and helping them take all of those disparate data sets with assessments and student information system and really get that speed to insight for their various stakeholders. So I really spend a lot of time there. I like to help advise, coach all of my clients to be able to see all of the different data and because I'm not so close to it, I can really help them see here are some places where we might have some blind spots. So that's a, that's a lot of the work that I do um, and then trying to innovate with a school district. You know, as an advisor, I try to walk as a shoulder partner with them and, and innovate with their data. How can you really get that organizational improvement you desire? Our customers are amazing. They are doing some of the most critical work. And you know, this last year has really been tough. We know that the last three years have been tough. Um, but even in the transition of are we deep into COVID or not, there's a lot of things that are happening and I've seen a lot of amazing experiences. One that stood out recently that I've really enjoyed, um, I had the opportunity to go work with an executive team along with their school board and their superintendent. And we actually spent some time in closed session working through the dashboards, looking at the data, getting a little bit deeper into the data. And, and one of the things that gave me a moment of excitement was when, when the board president asked us to pause and said, you know, based on what you're showing us here, I feel like we need to possibly look at our board goals. Maybe we need to readjust and not focus on, say for instance, student discipline, but tier one instruction. And when you see um, the light bulb come on with a client, that's extraordinary. But to see an entire school board go, I think we need to reevaluate what we're looking at. That's when you know the power of the analytic. You see the data come to life. And that one really stands out to me. I, I love it. Um, and I, I hope to see more of that with my clients. Don't be afraid. Used to I say, I would say, if you don't want to know the answer, don't ask the question. The data and the analytics, they come forward, you know, and you're asking those questions and sometimes we're afraid of what we're gonna see. We're afraid that we're gonna be convicted by the data, but that's just not the reality of it. What we have to be able to do is look at the data and then get a plan make a decision and move forward. And it could be the wrong decision. You could make a mistake, that's okay. It's important though, that you don't just ignore the data. And so getting in there and really putting that analytic in there, don't be afraid of it. Know that you're going to, to see it and then commit to an action.